Welcome back to the Blue Futon. And now, another movie review. Well, I wouldn't really call it a movie. It might be a TV show, I really don't know. But another Netflix popped up, the whole digital age. But this one is Godzilla, Planet of the Monsters. Let me go watch it. Now I'll let you know what I think of this anime. You know, I don't really know that much about anime, but let's do this. Alright, before I get started with this movie review, I'd like to thank everyone for getting my movie, The Open House Netflix original movie, to over a thousand views. I know that might not seem like a lot, but it's kind of a big thing for me to get my first one in 24 hours to get that high. So thank you, and thank you for the comments as well, and giving me recommendations, and talking to the movie. I like talking with people, so that's the whole thing. But now, let's get with Godzilla, Planet of the Monsters. So this is an anime movie on Netflix, apparently came out in 2007. I didn't really know about it. It really just came up on my feed because I've been like, just scrolling. So like, you know what, let's watch this. The whole anime is about we abandoned Earth. Basically, everyone abandoned Earth because Godzilla was there. And so we went in space. We didn't know what to expect. Like, let's find new planets. But then other races came along as well saying they know Godzilla and their planets were destroyed as well. So we'll combine forces to help fight Godzilla and no one succeeded. So they are still running in space. So it's been about 20, 22 years, which in 20 years in space, it was apparently 20,000 years in Earth years. So they decided, you know what, we're not finding any planets. We have to get people off this ship because we're out of food, water, etc. So old people, you gotta go. New people, you can stay. But there's a new captain who's like, no, we could fight Godzilla. We could beat Godzilla. I know exactly his metamorphic fins and shooting stuff. So you know what, let's go back to Earth. So they decided to go back to Earth because they're like, you know what, there's no other planets. We gotta at least try to go back to Earth. So they went back to Earth, and there they are, fighting what they think is Godzilla. Because going into this, it said episode one, part one. So I was like, oh, is this the movie? Is it gonna be a two-parter? Well, it is an hour and a half, and it is gonna be a two-parter. So what did I think about this movie? As a person that doesn't really watch anime, it was kind of enjoyable animation, something different rather than this whole Pixar. It wasn't as clean, and so I think that's what anime is supposed to do. But anyway, it seemed like there's like four different animations. Godzilla itself, the facial animations, the outer exterior, like the forest, and then the flying battles. But when they have all four of them in the action, it kind of, the depth perception, maybe I'm just going crazy, just didn't feel right. And the movement of Godzilla was a little choppier than everyone else. So it was kind of like, Aah! let me try it again. Aah! There we go, that was my Godzilla scream. You know, that's the best I got. The whole movie is in subtitles, so it's all Japanese language. And of course, if you're not into the subtitles, don't watch this movie. But it was an okay movie. It was this kind of, to me, it felt like Godzilla meets Prometheus slash Alien Covenant. Just the whole going back to Earth and wondering what Earth is and who's taking over Earth. To me, it had a very strong Prometheus Alien Covenant vibe to it. That what they were going with, good job. If not, well, I think you might have copied Ridley Scott. I'm um, usually gonna say like direction is good or acting is good. Well, you kind of get the acting off because it's all animation. A uh, dialogue was fine. Maybe they just an anime a lot, and I think I, they do because I've done a little bit of research about anime, not in the movies. But there's always like their dialogue is like, let's just say like to infinity and beyond, like you know, like close up like to infinity and beyond. And they always like yell at the last like <laughs> syllable, like we must kill Godzilla. So it's like, oh, okay. So the last thirty minutes was kind of a lot of yelling, like we must kill Godzilla. And it's not Godzilla, it's like Godzilla. Godzilla, that's how they say it. And also, I guess the one thing about Godzilla, uh, this animated show, it doesn't really explain a lot, which hopefully they'll do in the second half, but I really doubt they do, about the whole flying monsters, and why are there multiple monsters, and why did 11.2 light years from 20 years from us was 20,000 on Earth? So they talk about ruins being buildings, and there's these flying creatures, maybe King Kong will show up. Probably won't. And then they had Mecha Godzilla, but it died. I don't know why it died, it's a robot, I think. Ah! Those are some negatives. Overall, Godzilla Planet of the Monsters is an animated movie from Japan. Part one of a part two episode movie? So I'm guessing it's a movie in two parts. My guess, I don't really know a lot about this movie. But overall, Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. Pretty good animation, normal dialogue. Story kind of felt like Prometheus, Alien Covenant, with a hint of the 2014 Godzilla of US because you kind of didn't get the Godzilla until the last 25 minutes of the movie. And of course, since it is this, it left on a cliffhanger, and you're just like, oh. Because man, that one Godzilla in that movie, if you watch it, I didn't know it, when you whip his tail, it could just like, say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah. So that's my animation of the ending of Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. Was it a spoiler? Not really. Godzilla Planet of the Monsters gets three out of five blue futons out of five, which equals a 60%. Now, I really doubt this is going to be on Rotten Tomatoes, but you know what? Let's see if the critic scores or user scores are on Rotten Tomatoes. Alright, just got done looking at Rotten Tomatoes, and it's actually called Godzilla Monster Planet, but on Netflix it's called Planet of the Monsters. So I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it. Just call it what you want. Tomato meter is zero. User score is 53. Even though the critic has nothing, there are three critic reviews, and all three of them are positive. So technically, I think it takes four Rotten Tomato to make it a meter score go up. So technically, right now, user... Score, 53%. Critic score, 100%. Yeah, I had to triple check. But yeah, so like I said, I'm about in the, I would say I'm close to the user score, of course. Kind of have to agree with the user score because of the whole, it was all right. I mean, like I said, I'm guessing they're expecting all the action pack new Godzilla stuff to happen in the second half, even though they have no more supplies because a lot of the stuff just <laughs> agree with the critics. Well, technically zero, but 100%. My 60% are the user scores 53%. This is Chase the Eye with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this Blue Futon Utopia, you Blue Futonians. Because, you know, I will comment back and let you know what you think. And you know what? Those six people that put negative on Open House, I'm fine with it. But just let me know why you think it's negative. I'll change my stuff if I need to. If you want me to bore more animated, I'll be more animated. If you want me to bore more, more chill, I'll be chill. I'll just be chill. But you know what? I want to be a little more animated with this one. But you know what? Thank you for watching. And you know what? Have a great day. Mike <laughs> possessed now.